The current trends in today's automotive lending and purchasing market are discussed here, from leasing contracts to displaced bankers and their new niche. Well, we've actually seen a lot of trends recently. Uh, leasing is definitely beginning to uh, get more and more uh, popular, if you will. Uh, historically, lease, uh, lease offering is uh, based upon the impact of interest rates. As the interest rates go up, leasing becomes more popular because to the end consumer, it's all about the payments. So what's now seems to be happening is that despite the fact that interest rates are still low, uh, leasing is very, very attractive because there's a lot of pent up demand, if you will, for vehicles and therefore that's a, an additional avenue to get uh, uh, non-traditional customers, if you will, into purchasing vehicles uh, through very conventional type programs like standard leases, extended leases. I think the market overall from in terms of automotive leasing right now or automotive lending, either or, uh, is showing an upward uh, trend, but it's at a very methodical pace. Um, there's still a lot of pent up demand for both products. And what's actually happening is that a whole new uh, almost a side industry is emerging of startup organizations. Uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, new lenders get into the, or non-traditional lenders, if you will, get into the market, um, partially caused and partially prompted, if you will, by all the displaced bankers from a number of years ago who are getting back in the industry and finding a new niche, if you will, to uh, be able to offer new loan operations. They've all learned from the historical practices and the best practices of the past but there's a lot of new dynamics in the industry that really require different type of risk models, different type of pricing models. Even subprime today does not even remotely resemble subprime from five years ago.